Hi and welcome to another CSS video series. In this video, we can understand a different way of using colors or what are the approach of handling the colors. So basically we have a index HTML and then style CSS and being linked to in the header. In the body, there is only simple a div with a class name and the ID. The idea here is to use the ID to manipulate with the different uh, classes or different element using the ID. So basically in the body we have only display flex and wrap and some margin. So since we are going to have some other elements, so to see the different way of using colors. Basically in this CSS class we have some basic width and height and margin and display and so on. So let's grab the first one which is using the keyword which can be using the keyword. Let's give it a color for let's give it a background background color for example blue and then give it a value of color might be white. So the first approach is using just the color names, red, green, blue, orange, whatever suitable color that you think it's achieve the goal that you needed. Okay, so let's go back to blue. Yes, yeah, so this is the first way. I'll just give it First way, let's do this. Okay, then we will go another one color box hashtag exodismum. So this is going to be exodation, no, hexa color. So basically, a hexa is a short way of. Let's do this. Okay. It's going to be hexa. So basically, we have, for example, also a background color. Instead of using red or green or blue, we will have a hashtag and then followed with the with the two value for red and two value for green and two value for blue. So it's gonna be red, green, blue. Now let's give it for example, this value zero, FF. so something like purple. That's how you define or use the hexa value. And then, and by the way, uh, I use Right click, show viewer. If you don't know how to use it, then basically go to the extension and search for view, free view, I guess the name is. Yes, so install this live, live preview, preview extension. Okay, let's skip to third way this is also gonna have the same class name which is color box and then hashtag this is gonna be RGBA so RGBA or RGB okay it's gonna be a third way so hashtag and then RGBA RGB always leave some spacing mm, so let's see what I have here yeah so background and then we use the function RGB which is stand for red green and blue so basically those values are range between 0 and 20 255 and then so, so something like this Let's see if I have its RGB. 
B yes of course a typo could also for example give it let's change the border to be something like dot maybe then we will have the fourth approach which almost the same way as the RGB but if you want to control more opacity then this is the correct way so so almost like using RGB but this is gonna be with opacity so let's see way then gonna be RGBA let's see uh, I just changed the color of this so RGB a this is gonna be red green blue and then alpha which is opacity go from value of 0 to 1 so I do have those at least so let's see so it's gonna be something like this if you wanted to more dark then it's gonna be one if you want it to be more lighter version so you have to go down to the almost like a zero value if you put it zero then it's gonna be disappear or more lighter so let's give it like this value and then we have last not least color box we have another function called H SL and this is basically manipulate the saturation and light and uh, hue so so basically this is number five this is gonna be it's okay CL so we will have for example some sort of color HCL so you can limit don't limit yourself you could also use anything that's related to the color either like a background color or color of the text or border color whatever that's fit your needs so I'm just using the the color itself so HCL is gonna be handle three values those are hue saturation lightness hue is like red green value so hue is the range of value from from 0 to 360 360 so if you want to to deal for example with red then it's going to be 0 and if you want a green then it's going to be 120 and if you want it to be get a blue then it's 240 50 percent oh i go for example with this value 120 then it's going to be red so let me just put it here so zero for red 120 that's going to go with the green 240 blue okay so if you go for something like something like this that's almost like in the in the range of the green okay anyway let's bring it back to 90 or something like 50 or 10 anyway in the same way of HCL we also we have color box for example for this and the HCLA to control more opacity so HCLA color okay so for example let's choose this is by the way this is the last last method in this video way okay, and then if I go with HCLA let's see 
uh, maybe for the radius 50% for the color so let's see I'll, let's also the same let's see 150 which version maybe 50% this is going to be 40% and then let's put it one for example so we almost go in the range of the green so we define the color that we want and then saturation and then how much lighter and that was everything in this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching and see you in the next video